Oh, whoa. How many wheats is that? I think we have three. I see two reverses. And then I think this might actually be one as well right here. We have another one right here. And then right over here, we have yet another Oops. wheat penny coming out. And let's see what we're gonna get for a date on this one. Ooh, look at that, Kevin. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another coin roll hunting competition hunt. Today, we have another $25 box of pennies right here, and we also have these collections, which we're gonna be filling out as we go through this box of coins. As with every other competition hunt, we will still be using the Quinn's Coins official scoreboard. So as you can see here, wheat cents from the 40s and 50s are gonna be worth five points. A wheat cent from the 10s, 20s, or 30s is gonna be worth 10 points. A 1909, which is tough to find, is gonna be worth 20 points. An Indian, 50, a Flying Eagle, 100, and the rest, you can see as it goes down. Of course, as always, if you want to pick up one of these coin roll hunting placements for yourself, you can head on over to my website at quincecoins.com. Links will be down in the description below. So the twist to today's hunt is that not only are we going to be using the score sheet to rack up points and see who finds more coins, we're also going to be using these collections to see who can fill these out further. And basically, if we find a duplicate coin, it will not be worth the point value that you see on the placemat. So that's how today's competition is going to go down. With that being said, let's go ahead and crack into this $25 box of pennies and split the rolls up 50 50. Okay, so we just emptied the box. Now we have 25 rolls right here and 25 rolls over here. And with that being said, we are going to grab the first roll. No enders on this box, and we're just going to jump right into that first roll. So hopefully uh, we can get some of those uh, pre-1959 pennies looking for wheat pennies here. Anything that I can use to fill the collection. Uh, I do want to remind you though, Kevin, that we are looking up through 1963. Right. So yeah. anything below that is fair game and could go into the collection. All right, so right off the bat in my roll, I'm seeing a Canadian penny right here. It's gonna be a 1972. Uh, we should, we maybe should have thought of that. We could have brought some Canadians into the mix. What do you got there, Kevin? We're in the book right away. This is the uh, 1959 first year memorial. There's oh man, numbers. what if that was a wheat penny yeah, in the back there? Crazy. Yeah, so 59 Yo. memorial. I think we're gonna count everything after uh, the wheat pennies uh, for one point each. So Kevin will be striking first here with a single point on the board. At least that's what we did with our uh, with our nickel series. Yep. And he's going really easily. Yeah, some, so. of these, some of these albums are really tough to get coins into, but these are not bad. So Kevin's got the first one in the collection right there. I have, uh, looks like another Canadian in this roll right here, but I haven't found any wheat pennies yet or anything old like you got there. Mm -hmm. so let's take a look at this uh, Canadian penny right here and see what we have for a date. 1976 on that one. Once again, striking with the Canadians, I got an 85 right there. And uh, a lot of these look zinc in this roll at least. Ooh, I think I got an older Canadian here. Okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> almost. Nice. Well, yeah, just barely. So uh, actually we do count these for points. Uh, this is the uh, the Young Head 1964 Canadian. As you can see, we'll flip it over to see a, a young Queen Elizabeth there. So that's actually gonna get me up to five points on the board. I am currently at five points and Kevin's at one. All right, looks like I'm gonna be going on the board here. Are you sure of it? Oh, what do you uh, Yeah, for sure, because oh. we have a 1962 Denver right there. That's my first coin into the collection. These actually have 1.8 billion minted, so definitely not a difficult one to find. But you're saying you're gonna be the first to go on the board with a wheat, and I was gonna say, I don't know about that. Oh, you got a wheat penny here? This is how it came out, let's see what we got. Okay. Looks like a pretty uh, modern, I'd yeah. say 50s, let's see what we got. 44, all right, take it. Pretty uh, <laughs> pretty common wheat penny yep. right there, but definitely nice to have. Oh, Kevin, I just went on the board right there. I'm gonna match your points at least. We just got a bird oh, wow. scent, 1967 Canadian right there. I've been getting tons of Canadian. Any Canadian over there? None yet. Wow, I've got like five of them already, so. Uh, on the board with some Canadians, actually, here's, uh, <laughs> here's another one. You got something over there? Yeah, I do. Second wheat penny in this roll. Oh, nice. 1952 Denver came obverse up. Not a bad open coin. More points on the board. All right, yeah, let's see those going into the collection as well. Yeah, I wanna sure. see what uh, what you're filling up over there. All right, here's the update of my collection. 1944 wheat cent, first one going in the book. Pretty common coin. Flip it over to the next page, 1952 wheat cent, and we also got the 1959 and 1962 Denver. And you're really filling that collection up. I only have progress on this page, and it's right at the very bottom there. You can see the most common coins probably in the entire world. <laughs> 61 Denver and 62 Denver, both at 1.8 billion. But the interesting thing here is that we're actually tied up at 12 points each uh, oh, with wow. some differing uh, coins coming out. I got the Canadians coming out for me and you got the wheat pennies there. So we'll get on to the next one and see what else that's gonna hold for us. Oh, here we go. Oh, whoa. What do we got? How many wheats is that? I think we have three. Three in a row? I, I, no, not in a row, but very close to each other. I see two oh. reverses. And then I think this might actually be one as well right here. 
Yeah, it is. So this one was right next to one of the reverses, 1946. Wow. That's three in the roll already. So there's a 46. Uh, we'll put that one into the collection real quickly here. It's gonna be going right here. Actually a pretty common wheat at uh, almost one billion made, but still a wheat penny nonetheless. We have another one right here, uh, one of the reverses. Let's flip this one over to see what we're gonna get for a date. Hopefully not a 46. 41, okay, we'll hmm. take that. So that one's gonna be going into the collection as well. Actually the very first uh, coin in this collection, 887 million of those made. So that's gonna go right there. And then right over here, we have yet another Jeez. wheat penny coming out. So just an awesome roll so far with three wheats. And let's see what we're gonna get for a date on this one. All right, 1952 go. Denver. I think that's the that's one the that one got, you got yeah. too. So that one's gonna be going in as well on the, on the next page. And that's actually gonna bring me up to Looks like 27 points because that's uh, three five point coins. Yep. And you're still at 12 unless you got something here. Yep, nothing comparable to three week pennies out of one roll, but I did pull the first 2009 out of the box. Nice. Um, formative years, I believe. So. Uh, yep, so that's yep. going to bring you up to 13. Cracking into the next roll, I almost glossed over this penny because I thought it was a newer one. 1961 Denver in almost uncirculated condition. So That's a nice looking coin right there. And uh, while you're showing that, Kevin, I thought I might want to show this from the last roll. I actually missed this 1960 Denver, so that's going to give me one point as well. All right, looks like we are going to go on the board here with a 2009, same as Kevin's. I was just going to say, it's going to be a form of years. Oh, you got the uh, professional life there, so we were both on uh, the same roll, and we got two different 2009s. Each going to go up one point there, so I'm going to go up to 29 and Kevin is going up to 15. We uh, were just talking about our lack of wheat pennies here and I finally pulled one out right there. That's gonna be some uh, additional points on the board for us. 55 Denver right here. And uh, I thought I might've been seeing some doubling on that Denver mint mark, but that could just be my eyes being weird on me. All right, so that's gonna be an extra five points. It's gonna bring me up to 34. I think this might be the rarest coin I've found so, uh, found so far at 563 million. <laughs> We're getting the common ones first, that is to be expected. Well, there we go. Got a young head, um, reverse up. This would be the reverse, right? Uh, no, obverse. Got really? the date on it, yeah. I thought the date always had that. Nope. Oh, 61, nice. all right, cool. So just like we were saying there, that's gonna get you uh, five extra points. It's gonna bring you up to 20. All right. Uh, I just got a 61 Denver, but it looks like I already have that, so that's not gonna be. Oh, there's another one. We're making up that ground quick. Dang. 1964 young head <laughs> that counts yeah the most common young head but a young head nonetheless that's another five points 10 points on the roll so far right. right there that's a that's a nice roll nice canadian roll is there another one is uh, it it is yeah oh, one you need <laughs> 1960d very common coin but don't have it yet so that counts as one more. ah you got the large date i put the small date in oh really collection. you can tell that quick <laughs> Yeah, the 60s are pretty easy okay. to tell. Ooh, look at that, Kevin. We got some weed ears, and I think I see either a young head. Oh, okay, man. it is gonna be a young head. I thought it might have a chance of being a, a King George, but uh, let's take a look at these weed ears first. Right here, we got the wheat reverse showing, so it looks like I'm gonna get at least 10 points here on the wheat and the young head. Let's take a look at the data for that wheat right there. All right, 1944. Now, I guess I just realized I shouldn't be so quick to say I'm gonna get points for the wheat because if it's a duplicate, I won't be getting any points for it. But it looks like, uh, I know you got the 44. Yep. I don't have the 44 yet though. So right there, 1.4 billion of those made. We will be putting that one into the book right now. All right, so let's take a look at the data on this young head here. Uh, 1964, once again. It's a rare one. Oh yeah, that doesn't come up at all. All right, so I'm gonna go up to 45 now, and Kevin, you are down to 25. All so right, back once... at that 20 point deficit. <laughs> exactly. Let's do it again. <laughs> yep, let's see what you get in this, this next roll. I'm, I'm uh, counting on it, it's gonna be good. Cracking it into the next roll, 1961 Philly. I do not have that one yet, so that'll count for one point for me. Ooh, here we go, finally. It's not as good as it sounds. 1962. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, know I was I like, made... all right, what year's the wheat? <laughs> I made it sound nice, but it's really not. 1962, though, that's going to give me four in a row. We should have some bonus for, like, completing a, uh, an entire row. Tic-tac-toe kind of thing? Yeah, something like that. Is this what you just got, the 1960 Philly? No, 62. Okay, well, that is one I need. Okay, so, so yeah, I need that one, too. So you're going up to 25, uh, 26. Ooh, something. look at this. You got something good? At least a five pointer. Oh, nice. That's a not a bad looking coin. Let's yeah, see what it's, we got. it's just a five pointer. 63. <laughs> all right. They're all five points. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice find right there. It's going to bring you up to 31. So we are within 15 points now. 
Oh, it is. <laughs> I thought Are that was 76 at first, but it's 1946 oh. Denver. That might so, be actually the rarest nice. one that's come out today. Did check you, the check the minute. I got the 46 one? plane. Oh, okay. I haven't gotten anything uh, with a with a memoir. 315 million. Yeah, so that's not like extremely rare by any means, but I think that is the rarest one that's come out yet. So I'll take it. that's gonna bring you up to 36. So we're actually within 10 points now. I think you're a little ahead of me in rolls though, there, but. Oh jeez, I am. Yeah. yeah. Seven, and you've got nine. All right. Yeah. So you're gonna have to give me a chance to catch up here. I might find some some. Goodies. I have a word from our sponsor, Splash. <laughs> really if we had a sponsor, I don't think it would be Splash. I think it would be, I don't know. Honey. Yeah, Honey or something, I don't know. Anyway, there's nothing in that role for me, so. I'll look through a couple more rolls and let you guys know if we find something good. All right guys, so I just picked up the next roll and uh, it looks a little weird. I'm seeing some perforations there on the side. I think I, I see this this coin right here that I think might be something interesting. I don't know what it's going to be, it's but it's a parking lot of coins. Yeah, it's it's likely, but last time that uh, you pulled one of these out, it ended up being like a, a bingo token, so yep. Let's see what we got here. It's one of these two. I'm not exactly sure which one. All right, so that's nothing interesting. What about this one? There it is. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think that's the one. Just a bunch of zinc rot. Nasty, nasty stuff. That's why we wear the gloves, by the way. I don't. Yeah, I don't I don't know what you're doing over there without know. gloves on. It's but, tough to uh, do with gloves. Eh, you know, you just put a glove on one hand and you're good to go. That's pretty much what I do. All right, so a lot of copper here. Uh, I'm not seeing any wheat pennies, though, unfortunately. Ooh, there we go, finally. So this is gonna bring me ahead for nine. Uh, 15 points. Yep, 1949. Right. It's actually a pretty cool looking coin. Look at how short the four is. <laughs> it's a stubby Look how long the nine is. Stubby little four. Oh man, okay, so let's take oh, a look here. Oh, that's the most minted. Yeah, I, th I thought it might be. Um, right here, 1949, 217 million of those minted. So lowest minted that we found so far. Uh, we're still quite a, quite a long ways from getting like a low mintage coin, which is below uh, 50 million minted. But uh, we're getting there. Does getting that even there. exist in this book? What? Oh, oh. below 50? I don't know. No, only the 55S oh, okay. would, would make it there. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I like this book because it's a lot more attainable than the um, 1909 to 1940. Those ones are almost impossible to find. Oh, we got a 2009. That's not what I was expecting, but birth and early childhood. It's going to be worth uh, 1.4. Oh man, I think I have an older Canadian here, Kevin. Let's really? take a look at this one right here. Yep, it's uh, not as old as I was hoping for, but it is a young head. It's going to be 1963. So uh, that's gonna be another five points. Kinda running away with it at this point. Um, unless you got something there. I don't. Look at the toning on this. That's a nice toner. Oh, Kevin, you're gonna hate this. We just got another young it's head in always, the same role. It's always the Canadians. <laughs> yeah, they, they bring in some points. I think we got more young heads than, I don't know, about the same young heads and wheat pennies at yeah. this point. Uh, so that's going to be another five points. That's why they're worth the same thing, though. They usually come out at uh, about the same numbers, at least in these parts. So that's going to bring me up to 63, and you're at 35. Kevin, you got a big deficit here to make up in these four we'll get rolls. It. Indian? 50? Uh, Indian head would be worth 50 points. Yeah, yeah, we'll get that. If you get that, you'll you'll definitely be ahead of me. Oh, we just got a 59 Denver, and uh, that's one that we still need in the collection. It's going to be a one-point coin. Let's take a look at, uh, at that page to see where that one's gonna go in. So 1959 Denver right there at 1.3 billion. It was uh, just a matter of time before that one came out with a mini like that. D. Yep. I just got 62D, which I already have. Ah, uh, man, yeah, I already got that one too. Is that what I think it is? It is. What is it? It is a bird scent. Oh, did, sweet. Did you get one of these earlier? I did, yeah, it was in not as good shape as that one though. Cool. That's a nice looking uh, bird scent there. Nice. So that's gonna bring you up to 40 points. You're now just trailing by 23. Oh, there we go. It's turning and around in the last, last two rolls. Wheat Penny, looks like uh, 50s or 40s. Nice. Could be older. No. 50D. 50D. All right, so that's uh, gonna get you up to 45 now. Yeah. You found three in one roll, so I did. it might be uh, all yeah. packed in here. 45. 45 to 63 right now, and I didn't get anything in that roll, so that is uh, definitely a good sign for you if you can have a couple more rolls like that. Oh, you only have one roll left. Yep, there's an Indian <laughs> but in there. Don't still, worry. still, yeah, that's, uh, you know. If you can get a pre-40s wheat, that would be even better. Sure. 
So, all right, let's uh, keep going here. I got two more rolls to unopen. Let's see what we're gonna get in this one. And uh, Kevin will be looking out to see what you're gonna get over there as well. Oh, you're not gonna like do. this. What you got? So I got a young head. Of course. Couldn't get any worse, I'm sure. It's probably a 64 even. Nice. <laughs> Of you know, I think is. I think 64s shouldn't be worth anything. Only the 64s. Okay, but I'm not taking that off the placement. Yeah, that can be our own personal rules. Maybe in the next round. I, I would think about how OP that. Oh, 64 look at is. yeah. If I did, look, I I have I have three 64s, so that bring me down 15, 15 points. Be a lot more even. Yeah, it probably would. But you you had some 64s too. Yeah, so. I'm gonna take those off. I literally just got my third 77 Canadian out of really? the box. Yeah. That, that is so crazy to me because those never came up before. All right, I just got through the rest of that roll. I think I just had the, uh, the only find out of it was the young head, 1964. So we're on the last roll now. All right. Kevin, you got your last roll ready for us here? Yep. All right, let's uh, squeeze in here, try to open them live for everybody. So I'm gonna just dump mine out right here so everybody can see what I've got going on. That one looks kind of old. Nope, just 1980. And uh, we'll try not to mix the coins up too yeah. much. So let's see, in the collection, I'm still looking for the 60, 61, and 59, all Philadelphia minted. Still looking for 62 and 63 before, and 59, D. Okay, so we're pretty similar in that, uh, in that area. Yep. I'm not really seeing too much on my roll, so you might be in luck if you have something over there. Yep, same. Oh, there we go. Just as we're talking about this coin. Whoops. That one that you wanted to outlaw? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Let's do it now. <laughs> 1964 Canadian Younghead. Okay, so that's going to get you five more points. It puts you at 50. And I think I'm going to end the box at 68 because I have nothing left in this roll. So unless you got something over there. I don't think I do. Unless this is a bird scent. It's not. All right, so I think that is going to be our final score, guys. The final score is Quinn, 68, Kevin, 50. We got uh, some pretty good coins into the collection. Definitely not as many as in the nickel collection, the 38 through 61 nickels collection. If you haven't seen those videos, I definitely suggest you watch those. We had a lot of fun there. Uh, but you can see right here, we pretty much got all of the, the post um, uh, wheat pennies filled out. Kevin, kind of the same deal. I got the 55 Denver, uh, 52 Denver. And then a couple on this side, the 41, 44, 46, and 49. I think this was probably the lowest mintage. Let's take a look at your collection now, Kevin. Yep, just missing the uh, 59D, 62 Philly, and 63 Philly for the post uh, wheat pennies. Mm -hmm. And then for the wheat pennies, we got the 1952D. Was the one? Nope, that's it. That yeah, page. that was the one. On that and page. then two in this page, 4060 and the 1944. Yeah, so we got some pretty similar coins even, yeah. but it, of course, if we did combine our collections, we'd have a lot more. Right. But uh, that's what we're going to do for now. We're going to do another episode of this at least and uh, see how much further we can fill those out. I don't think we had any duplicate wheat pennies today, did we? I don't we? think we did. So I'm sure we will in the next one, though, because there's a lot of common ones. Do you have 44? I did, yeah, I got okay, the four. Yeah. But, you know, we each got, yeah, so we each got one. Okay, I see. So, yeah, no duplicates today. We had a pretty clean scoreboard here. Uh, no King George the Fifth, so no King George the Sixth, but that's okay. We'll get them next time. Thank you so much for coming out, sure. Kevin. I do appreciate it. And uh, once again, guys, if you want to get these coin roll hunting placemats for yourself to aid you in your penny roll hunting, you can head on over to my website at quinscoins.com, and I will put links down in the description below. As you can see, they're really nice for picking up the coins and uh, dumping them into your box, as well as just all of the information on the front of them. And then on the back side, you have uh, the score sheet, which we use in our competition hunts, as well as just to rate the boxes. And of course, you have your key date and low mintage ranges right here that you can use to figure out if your coin is rare or not. Once again, you can pick these up at my website at quinzcoins.com, and I'll put links down in the description below. But anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because we post new videos like this every single week. Always bring you along with the hunts and having a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coins signing out, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.